Saturday, March 11th, 2017, Moneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So, the big news yesterday, aside from non-farm payrolls, which in my opinion are still a uh, manufactured number, it's an estimate, and even with uh, President Donald Trump, I think those numbers are kind of bogus. Uh, the big news, though, uh, in my, for me and uh, my viewers and uh, the markets I cover was Bitcoin. Uh, the SEC was expected to make a ruling yesterday whether you could have a Bitcoin ETF, and they decided to reject it. I made a video a few days ago saying that it would be a really bad idea if we had a Bitcoin ETF. Uh, because it would lead to, eventually, in the longer term, the possibility of uh, paper manipulation into Bitcoin. I know Bitcoin is a digital currency based, based on uh, digital uh, mining, but uh, I thought it would lead to the, the same kind of, uh, you know, scenarios we get in gold and silver where the COMEX, LBMA, uh, and the bullion banks and the big uh, institutions manipulate gold through uh, paper instruments. So in a way, uh, I was glad to see that the SEC rejected uh, the Winkle, Winkle Voss's brother's application for a Bitcoin ETF. Their reason was that uh, SEC said Bitcoin uh, is an unregulated market. So, well, so be it. I mean, <laughs> um, the markets, in my opinion, as a free market uh, individual, should regulate themselves. Um, here in the UK, we've had a big bang, you know, when the markets started being regulated in the 80s. And have we had stable markets? And have we had like, uh, you know, really, uh, how can I say, have we had a, you know, a period where there hasn't been, you know, manipulation or dishonesty by the market participants? No, we've been regulated since the you know, big bang in the 80s, and we still have loads of uh, problems, uh, loads of scandals. So in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with uh, Bitcoin not being uh, regulated. I think it's a good thing. Uh, of course, there can be manipulation in Bitcoin, but um, not as much in my opinion. So Zero Hedge reported uh, yesterday, when it came out, Bitcoin crashes below a thousand after SEC rejects ETF, and um, I personally didn't see it go under a thousand. Some of the prices I monitor uh, went down to around a thousand and fifty, as you can see there. Uh, Bitcoin uh, price index from CoinDesk, but I don't think it really matters that much. Uh, I guess you know. I think we traded up above 1300 yesterday before non-farm payroll on uh, anticipation of an SEC ruling. Someone must have thought, you know, maybe Bitcoin will be accepted as an ETF, but uh, it didn't. So yeah, we dropped maybe below a thousand, but right now, as I speak this morning at 10.30 a.m. London, we're at 11.85 uh, in Bitcoin. So... This is just a blip, and I have, as I have said in the past, if you're interested in uh, buying Bitcoin or having Bitcoin, I think these uh, big dips we see, we've seen in Bitcoin, you know, over the last few years, it's always a good opportunity to uh, put some money into Bitcoin. And um, so, as you can see here, uh, after the ruling, Bitcoin really dumped and now it's recovered. Uh, longer term, let's have a look at the, the Bitcoin chart here. Um, as you can see, longer term, um, Bitcoin still looking good. It still hasn't broken that trend we've had for the, the last uh, couple of years or 18 months. As you can see, we've broken the top of the, the uh, previous high there around 1170 and we're even back above it right now um, the other cryptocurrency I wanted to talk about uh, today uh, is ethereum uh, I never talk about ethereum um, that much I think I made a video last summer 
when there was this uh, problem with Ethereum about the fork or, you know, forking or unforking. Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm not really a, a programming technical geek or anything like that. Uh, I like to follow more the markets and I'm interested, uh, you know, I know the basic concept of cryptocurrencies, but I don't know the ins and outs and the technicals. But last summer when um, uh, Ethereum dumped, um, let's have a look here, the longer term chart, when there was that problem about the forking and uh, a hacking, I think we dropped below, uh, let's see, it was trading between 10 and $15 basically. And when that came out, uh, I looked into it because I hadn't really followed Ethereum and I bought a few uh, Ethereum coins and just left it there. And then recently, um, as you can see here, since the end of last year, it's been going up quite a bit from below 10. We're now almost at uh, $20. So the other day, what I did is uh, I uh, actually bought some more Ethereum. So uh, yeah, I think it could be a pretty interesting, uh, you know, uh, Another cryptocurrency to have aside from Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, of course, is the uh, premier cryptocurrency, but I think uh, Ethereum, uh, you know, could be interesting. I might be missing some others, but uh, uh, at the moment, these are the two uh, I'm looking at. Ethereum, Ethereum right now is almost at twenty dollars, at nineteen dollars seventy one cents. Uh, yesterday, it dropped as well. Uh, after the uh, ruling from the uh, SEC, uh, I think it got down to uh, yeah below 16 and a half. So it's rebounded as well. And um, what about the uh, precious metals? Well, we got below uh, 17 in uh, in silver and below 1,200 in gold. A non-farm payroll was a uh, a good number up 235,000 it was expected around 200,000 unemployment rate 4.7 as expected the uh, average hourly earnings I think were a little weaker than expected so wages are not going up that much um, so gold uh, I think the low was just below 1196 yesterday but we did manage to rally on the close, uh, 6 p.m. New York close, and we closed the week at 12.04.64. Um, so above 1,200. Uh, year on year, gold is up 5% in dollars, so not too bad. Silver, uh, the low was around 16.85 yesterday, and we also managed to close above 17 at 17.04. Year-on-year, year, silver is up 7%, 6.98 basically. S&P 500 is up 5.97. So silver outperforming uh, the, you know, the broader stock market. Uh, Fed is expected, of course, to raise rates on Wednesday. And I've read a few articles. Uh, and uh, the gist of it, is, uh, of some, article, some articles are quite interesting. They were saying, you know, that uh, prior to... Uh, uh, Trump's election last summer, uh, Yellen was saying that uh, she would rather keep uh, rates low uh, and let the economy overheat than try to raise rates and, uh, you know, killing off the econ economic recovery. And I put quotes between that economic recovery. Uh, and then during the uh, campaigning, uh, Trump uh, actually commented that uh, the stock market was a bubble and, and that if uh, they raised rates, the Fed, that bubble would burst. And then now, uh, no, no, the last two quarters, the last quarter of uh, 2016, GDP was like 1.9%, which is fairly weak. And now the, the first quarter GDP is expected to uh, be around 1, 1 1.3, according to the Atlanta Fed estimates. And the Fed is talking about raising rates. Well, they will raise rates on, on Wednesday, March 15th. And even the, the Goldman Sachs head economist yesterday said that uh, now the Fed's going to raise in 
uh, June and September. So it's very strange. Um, I don't know what the Fed's playing at. If they're trying to like uh, crash the, you know, the markets, the stock markets, and hurt Don Donald Trump. But if anything, I think it wouldn't be a bad thing for Donald Trump if the stock market uh, and the economy kind of uh, went through a bad period in the beginning of his administration rather than at the end. You know, if it, if there's a crash this year and uh, there's a recession uh, up going until 2018, uh, he, you know, by the time there's the next election, the economy should be recovering. So if anything, it plays into Donald Trump's hands. Uh, so that's it. That's what I want to talk about. Bitcoin, uh, as I uh, said uh, a few days ago, it would be a blessing in disguise if the SEC rejected Bitcoin as a, an ETF. And that's happened. So and doesn't change my opinion of uh, Bitcoin. Ethereum, another interesting uh, cryptocurrency for me. Uh, many of you have other ones like Monero, <laughs> but uh, I haven't looked into that one. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I wish you a, a good weekend and I might come back later, make another video. Uh, take care. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. If you'd like to donate to my channel, there's some links uh, below in the description. Take care. Bye.